Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Nayan Ora. You are watching Nayan Fans, and we are back with our new season, season four, a new episode, a new season. So we are stepping into a, our fourth year of Nayan Fans, and I'm so happy. As you can see, our new video, a new season starts very great. So this episode is for getting the base models for our CGI stunt double. Uh, in this part, I'm just going to show you how to get the base models from the fuse and from a phase generator free software which is in the description so you are going to need for this complete tutorial series of CGI stand up you are going to need After Effects you are going to need Cinema 4D a basic knowledge of Cinema 4D is must uh, you are going to need or you can use After Effects or Photoshop for the editing the textures so let's take a list shall we After Effects or Photoshop Cinema 4D Best knowledge, of course, phase generator from description and my tutorials. So, this tutorial is a very long requested tutorial, so I wanted to make this in part so it is easier and the video is not loaded for a big set of 35 minutes or 40 minutes. It's not going to be that hard. So, I thought why not make it in the parts? And tutorials are weekly, so I have put as much effort as I can in this part and the next part will be from the next week so this part contains the base model how to get the base model from the fuse and phase generator shall we start the video so guys this is the fuse uh, you will have to get this trial month uh, this setup is meant to make a 3d model a uh, basic 3d figure of yours uh, so if you have seen film learning's three part series of stunt double you may be familiar what i am going to do so the basic body i will make with this setup so i choose this head and click on right click and then select add matching parts so i can get all the parts selected i don't have to go and select each one of them so this is how i get the basic model of our body we will make the head afterwards the head is not going to be made in this setup. The film learning did a really awesome tutorial on uh, changing the head inside of this tutorial to make the head look more like you. But we are going to do a different thing. So this is our basic body of the model made in Adobe Fuse. You can use the trial. Now this section of clothing, we are not going to customize so we are just heading to clothing. You can select the clothes you are wearing or you will be wearing while the action goes or a random clothes you want your model to have. So there are a bunch of clothes for male and female so whatever you want to select you can. So let me just select a random clothes. So I am selecting this jacket. So after clicking it, it comes, all the textures are cool, we can edit the textures, I'm going to show you how later on, so just right now I selected the pants, and then shoes, and more important thing is the hair, if you have the hair of your style online, then it's cool. But if you don't, then find a more familiar hair to yours. In the setup, there are not too much, too, too many hairs for the male, but it will be fine. But if you want, you can find your type of hairstyle online on DeviantArt or other some websites where you can get three models for free. Or you can make your hair in Cinema 4D. That's uh, another part of the tutorial. Not right now. I'm going to change the color of my hair as it's a little bit brownish black, dark brown. So I'm going to change the color. Now this is how you click on the model and change the color. As you can see the hair is already changed and it is it looks like my hair right now. So now this is the same way you can change the color of your clothes. Now how to get the drawings or the art your t-shirt have that's another thing which from in has covered so I'm not going to go deeper in that the links are in the description so that's how you change the color 
and then you have to export the model here we are going to click base type base to export the model with the textures So this is our part one done. So this is part two step one guys. As you can see you will need three photos of your face or more precisely you will need two photos of your face. One is the front with no expressions at all it should be HD and the second one is the side photo which should be the same without any expressions like the lips or anything no expressions at all as you can see life is hard okay <laughs> more fun so you can uh, click this photo and then you can edit it to be the flip version of this photo because you will need left and right both of the sides different so you can just edit it in the paint go inside the paint and then flip it and save it as you can see it's flipped or you can do what wherever you can edit this photo or directly inside your laptop in the photo viewer anything at all but you just you will just need a front the left and the right to make the face now face generator generator is uh this is the demo version i'm using uh i don't want to pay as this tutorial is completely free as you can see this is a face made in this and you can make similar uh, things by using just three photos of yourself to make a standable as fast as you can and believe me guys this complete tutorial if you learn perfectly it will not take more than an hour to make or less than an hour to make this uh, standable of yours very easily so you will just click on the first load image and then select the front as you can see this is the right image select it the left image select it and then click next so according to this demo version you will get that fg face generator on your head so here you have to just follow the guidelines shown there on the side you just have to click those points wherever it is shown and if you make a mistake you can go on back and correct it as this is going to help to make your face generator make a really good face model of yours and this is a free version so grab that link is in, in the description so just follow the follow the guidelines the points where you have to put and you will get a decent face model as fast as you can and it is really easy guys in this setup there are some third party plugins which I'm not going to talk about right now but those will get you some realistic looks but those are really expensive so I'm using this free version for now and this will help you guys. So this is how you make your head models of any actor you want like Grant Gustin for the flash models or different actors whatever you want. It's easy just following the guidelines shown here and then just click at the end to create and it will load as it's using those 3D points as a base to make a 3D model with a really good texture of the face. So it will take some time guys. And this is how you get your face done. So as you can see there's the FG on the forehead which is a copyright uh, watermark which I'm going to show you how to remove but for right now if you want to tweak something like the nose or lips or something like that the eyes the ears or anything on the face expressions if you did not get it right you can go here in the edit mode in the modify mode to edit the face manually as you can see I found the nose to edit it and I can edit the nose but there's nothing wrong with this so I'm going to just edit 
I can, I'm just going to undo it and that's how you get your face model in this face generator, generator 3D model and then we are going to go on the file to save it you can select the current expressions or neutral expressions with a different expressions of the model there are around 50 to 60 expressions and then select png format of the texture and then save the model wherever you want i'm going to save it in this folder where i save the face model of the body so we are going to click the face model type the face model and then save it it will take a little bit time and that's how the part two is done so we'll get to part three Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel to see more.